So right now, uh, I was actually going to sleep and I found a video of a pastor and I want to, I want you to hear something that this guy says. So I'm going to give you the name of the video and I only want you to listen to so much of the video. If you want to listen to the whole entire video, listen to the whole entire video. What I'm trying to point out in this video, now don't get me wrong, like I've said, there have been many times where I have declared that what people need to do out here is start all over, all over on their beliefs that they have. I understand that to someone that hears that, they're going to think that it's almost impossible. And, and I would almost agree because at the end of the day, that there's going to be something that even what they carry over to what their beliefs, if they change, is still going to carry over some of the things they, that they have been brought up to believe. Well, a lot of stuff that they believe is true, and a lot of stuff people believe is not true. And a lot of the stuff that, that people believe that is not true is a salvation issue. I'm listening to this pastor. Now, granted, at the end of the day, no matter what this pastor believes does not make it the truth. And I'm not saying anything against this pastor. But just because you watch some of this video and listen to what he says, I don't want you to jump on the bandwagon with him, everything that he professes. You know, this is the truth, and I want you to hear this. There have been so many people when they were on fire. I got to turn my truck off. Bear, bear with me. I got to kill my truck. I got so many noises. Uh, when people who are drawn to God, whether by the Holy Spirit or someone asking someone if they wanted to go to church with them. Now, I understand the Holy Spirit can work through someone, even someone that is not saved. You know, could you imagine if someone that you went to church with that brought you to their church was not saved, but yet through that individual, you came to the saving knowledge because there is a knowledge that saves you. Something that you're getting from the Bible saves you. And I'm not, I'm not declaring against Jesus because he is the word made flesh. So what you're reading is what's going to save you. One way or another. What you get from the Bible is going to save you. So... But so many people were on fire. So many people were on fire for Christ when they first gave their life to Christ that I promise you people were saved because they allowed themselves to change. But as time goes on, you can hear other messages from multiple people and believe another message because multiple people speak it. That doesn't make it the truth. Like I said, if you get on the internet and you Google something or you get on YouTube and you Google something one way or another, 
there's a good chance that you're going to believe in once saved. Well, I want to point out one thing before I go any further about this video that I found. I haven't gotten there, correct? Stumble. Second Peter 110. In the ESV, it doesn't use the word stumble. But even David Jeremiah even professes that you're falling away. And if you look up stumble in Strong's Concordance, it's a loss of salvation. So, uh, you hear so many people sit here and speak something, and you start believing that what they're telling you is the truth, and it may not be. And just because you hear a whole bunch of people professing it, you start believing in it. But a lot of people just go back into sin and don't have anything to do with God. They don't have anything to do with the Bible. They don't do have anything to do with Jesus. And they do not even allow the Holy Spirit to work in their life. And it's the, the work of the Holy Spirit that saves an individual. So, uh, that's why I say when I give an example that if you gave your life to Christ and when you were 20 and all your life, you never read the Bible, you never went to church, you never told anybody about God at the end of the day. That is not going to be a person that's going to be saved. You have to live the life. And it tells you all over the entire Bible. But I really didn't want to sit here and say that stuff. That's not what I had intended in this video. It's just something I'm adding along with this video. But I want you to hear what this pastor said in his video. And maybe somebody out there that does not believe in the truth will believe in the truth and see how they've been led astray. The name of the video is, now I am not telling you to watch this video to listen to anything about the rapture. As soon as he starts talking about the rapture, I stopped the video. Because you do not have to go around here watching videos about the rapture or even go to a church that professes the rapture to be raptured, to be a born again Christian. All you have to do is be living the life. That's all you have to do is be living the life. I mean, what I'm trying to say is, at the end of the day, you watching all these videos or me watching all these videos or declaring that you have to believe in a rapture or that's kind of like saying I have to say that I believe in a trinity or saying I have to believe in oneness. You do not have to do that to be born again. That is just a topic out here that people talk about. As far as I'm concerned, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are one, and that's all I have to confess. I don't care if it means Trinity. I don't care what it means at the end of the day. I don't have to believe in flat earth or around earth to be a born-again Christian. Because I guarantee you, there are people out here that are born again that are not watching all this stuff. And I would not be the least bit surprised if they've had visions and dreams too. But they didn't have to make YouTube videos either. They don't have to have that format. 
You could tell people in the church your visions and dreams. But I'm just trying to point something out because it does not have to be what we are witnessing right now. I know you do not have to to be a born-again Christian. And I hope somebody out there would agree. So, because I don't have to have anything to do with the internet at all and be a born-again Christian. But I'm listening to this video and what this pastor brings up is so important. The name of the video is You'll have to grab a pen. 101622. So evidently this is a current video. 101622. The rapture or death music edited out. The rapture or death music edited out. Now, I don't know why there's a title like that, but I don't title my videos either so good either. But Grace Bible Community Church is the people that uploaded the video. Grace Bible Community Church. Now just listen to probably the first 8 to 10 minutes of this video. It's an hour video. I'm not telling you to watch the video because I don't know what kind of pastor this guy is. Just listen to what he says about coming to the truth. You know, people out here say, be a Borean. That still doesn't mean whoever out here thinks that they're a Borean is a born again Christian. There's somebody out there that I guarantee you at the end of the day that will say, I take God's word. I don't take man's word. And guess what? That doesn't mean they're a born again Christian. That doesn't mean that they know the truth. Like I said, I have witnessed people on the internet and I was like, this person has a pretty darn good message. I even spoke about them. And then all of a sudden, they said something that did not make sense. But this is what what you read what you listen to in about the first 10 minutes of this video is what's wrong with so many people like i said if you think i'm putting somebody down even including yourself look at me look at me i backslid am i sitting here telling you i'm any better than you And at the end of the day, you may be a born again Christian, but I'm telling you this right now, I'll tell you what this guy says, that a lot of the stuff that has been brought up in the church, people fell in love with that message. That's right. And he professed how he has always search for the truth that he even had to come to the understanding that he has been wrong for the beliefs that he has incorporated 
And that's exactly how everybody else should be. If you come to the understanding that what you believe is incorrect, would you admit it? Would you acknowledge it? How many people have acknowledged it, would not admit it? How many people have acknowledged it and have not done nothing about it? He basically pointed out that that's exactly how the type of person he is. And that's exactly the type of people that we're supposed to be. That if you read something in the Bible that does not add up to what somebody in the church or your denomination or anything else adds up, you run as fast as you can. But do go watch that video. Just because I told you what the vid what the guy says doesn't mean that you should not listen to the video. Now, as far as the rapture is concerned, I could care less what you listen to about it. I stopped the video. I'm not going back into watching it. The guy did make a video about doctrines of demons, and I am going to watch the video about doctrines of demons. I'll tell you that. But again, you can go Strong's Concordance, stumble, scroll all the way down. You'll see 2 Peter 1.10 or 2.10. Loss of salvation. Now, why does Strong's look at it that way? And I've brought it up before. I've already brought up stumble before. Yes, I have. That it meant loss of salvation. Sounds like to me at the end of the day, if people don't believe that it means loss of salvation, it sounds like to me people need to put up Strong's concordance and not use it no more. Because you can't use what ones you want to use for you and not accept other ones because you're against it. Just like the study section of this Bible, I've already found flaws. Because a commentary is a man's word. I've already found flaws. But the majority of it's pretty darn good. Especially when it comes to that, what I looked up today, uh, that second Peter one ten, and the book of uh, in the ESV it doesn't use the word stumble; it uses the word fall. Just advice, I can promise you this right now. You can be on fire for Christ. You can be reading the Bible. You can fear God because you're changing your life. The Holy Spirit can be leading you. And then you can turn away. And don't let yourself be deceived that you cannot turn away. All you have to do is start enjoying your sin again. But don't use that scripture that when God starts something, he finishes it. Because that's what people out here use. What people really don't want to do is listen to what God says and not acknowledge where you harden your heart. Or believe in a lie over the truth. Or turn a truth into a lie. Because I'm not joking. There's consequences for this in the Bible. And I promise you it's relevant in Christianity out here. All I know is I thought, wow, this pastor is saying it perfect. That even he humbled himself enough to admit that even, that, that, like I said, that doesn't mean at the end of the day he preaches the truth.
I mean, just because he admits that he's been wrong in the past or he's confronted a pastor or walked out of a church because what he was getting from the Bible is not what they were preaching doesn't mean at the end of the at the end of the day and I'm not saying that to be mean somebody could say well Jeff okay I know why you're saying that because he you know maybe you don't see eye to eye with him I didn't say that it's a warning is what it is because if this guy came to the understanding of how the church was wrong that he was going to don't you think you can don't you think that God would give you the saving knowledge come to the, come to the understanding on your own and not need no one else not no one behind the pulpit not a classroom not nothing not YouTube. And no one can sit here and say that with a person that was on fire that quit living a sinful life that they were not held, led by the Holy Spirit. Who can make that understanding? Who can make that judgment call? Huh? Are we really going to listen to someone say that we don't believe that this person was ever saved? Who has the right to make that judgment call? If you have the Holy Spirit, you have Christ. Romans 8, 9. That's why I know people are wrong in their beliefs. I know they are. It's only because of God that I can listen to some sermon or listen to someone and hear the lies. At this point in time, I mean, when you backslide and you don't show that you fear God, I can guarantee you it's not going to be because of Jeff. And it wasn't because of Jeff in the first place. Then I would make it sound like I'm saving myself, wouldn't it? To an extent. Not really, because that's not what I quoted. I mean, I remember listening to a person that made a video on YouTube, and I'm not bringing the person up, so it doesn't make a difference. I'm not bearing false witness. This guy made a video talking about unrepentant sin and at, at toward the end of the video he said I'm not going to listen to someone what so if someone had a message to give to you you're not going to listen that's called pride Because this person thought that they were too good. Too good to listen to a message from someone when this guy would be considered what people would think a pastor. I'm telling you, not everybody out here was called to be a, a messenger of God behind the pulpit either. Just like on YouTube.
Well, either way, you can watch the video, you could, or you could believe what I sit here and said. But this guy admitted that he's even been wrong, and he admitted that he cared about the truth. That's why he seek the truth. And he literally just walked out of churches because people were not speaking the truth. And he gave all kinds of denominations. See, a lot of people do test the waters out here. They do go around testing all these to see if it sounds like it's the truth. But a lot of times it doesn't do a person any good. Because you could still sell out to the wrong thing. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't even know why I went this much into the video. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. All I had a point was, if I were people out here, I would forget anything you ever heard. I would even ask God for help. <laughs> if, if what you've been brought up to believe is not the truth, God, let me forget it all. Let me start all over. At the end of the day, people are not going to come down. They're not going to understand everything that they read. I don't care. God's never going to divulge everything. Salvation-wise is what matters. That's what matters. Again, that Trinity, flat earth, round earth, oneness, Sabbath, all these things, what you eat food-wise, nope. It's not going to matter if you call God Yeshua or if you go by the title God. It's not going to make a difference. It's going to make absolutely zero difference. And see, I hear something after I said that. But what I'm trying to point out is, what about all the people in the past? Huh? Were they all condemned to hell if somebody came up with a name and it didn't have anything to do with God or Jesus in the first place? And it had something to do with Baal, like this guy was saying the other day. And I've heard this stuff more than once. The heck can I do about it? Are you telling me everybody before me is all in hell? If that's where they're at, well, I mean, I doubt that. I'm not joking. I've heard this stuff. And I know you guys have too, especially when I know that I've heard things and I guarantee you that if you've been listening to this stuff enough, you've heard this stuff also. I'm not going to get caught up in somebody pushing something. I'm not going to get caught up listening to someone say that man convicts someone. Not at all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give zero credit to man, something that God does. What you got from man was a guilt trip and a guilty conscience. If I convince you and make it seem like you have to keep the Sabbath to be born again Christian, that ain't conviction. 
that's me making you feel bad for not sitting here following something that at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff was a tradition of men. A lot of the stuff they belong to back in those days were traditions of men, just like the churches today. Holy in remembrance, I don't think that means that whatever day you have to sit here and worship Christ. Well, like I said, I know I overdid this video. I could have made this video in five minutes. I could have said, watch this video. Listen to what this guy says. I didn't have to bring up the first... Uh, First Peter one ten. I didn't have to bring that up. Oh, it was going to come back again. I promise you that. Falling from grace because somebody convinces you to keep the law is losing is losing salvation too because you don't have the Holy Spirit. See, here's the deal. Isn't that weird? Losing the Holy Spirit. Or, get, or having salvation or losing salvation. It's through the Holy Spirit. That's right. The Savior is Jesus Christ. The mediator to Christ is the Holy Spirit. The mediator to God is Jesus. Salvation is through the Holy Spirit. But I already gave the best advice I possibly could. That other, that ed, that other advice I gave people. I mean, if if a person truly wants to feel like that they have a relationship with God, if you're married or you're not married, if you're married, get your kids, get your spouse, go out somewhere away from society as far I mean uh, uh, away from people besides yourselves say hun I want you to take the children for three or four or five hours I got I'm on a mission today and then after you're done you take the children and let your spouse Talk to God like I did. Used to sit here and just drive down the road. Beautiful clouds, beautiful day, beautiful horse, beautiful cow, beautiful deer. The bald eagle. Saw a bald eagle the other day, too. Wow, wow, wow. It's been a while since I've seen a bald eagle. Um,. A raccoon. Doesn't make a difference. Acknowledge this stuff. Be thankful for these things. Just imagine if we didn't even have this stuff. You didn't have a dog or you didn't have a cat. You didn't have a hamster. You didn't have a turtle. It would be an absolute drag. I'll tell you that for darn sure. I almost want to laugh. I've never had a hamster. 
Never had a turtle. I still, before the SHTF happened, God, I still want to go see some orcas. I still want to go out into the ocean where the orcas are at. I want the orcas to come up to me and you can pet them. I would not be the least bit afraid at all. I don't think it's ever going to happen, but that's what I'd like to see. Heck, any of those big old ocean fish. So there are people on a on a boat and all of a sudden man wow talking about crazy Well, I guess I'm done with this video. All I know is that's what this guy talked about. A lot of people have admitted that they have been brought up to believe something that was not the truth. And I don't care how long a person's been indoctrinated with this crap. Maybe there's a possibility that somebody can break away from this garbage. I still believe, uh, I still believe somebody can ask God to show them something and they'll witness something supernatural. I really do. That's not asking much. It may be good if you kept it to yourself. I sit here and brought all this stuff up. I thought about it earlier today, that day that I backed in the field and both of my drive tires were off the ground. And I was, I called my company, told them I got stuck. And I was like, please, God, please, God, please, God. Pushed on the accelerator, drove right off. Both of the only two wheels on my 18-wheeler were off the ground. It wasn't even possible any other way. Well, I'm done with the video. Just imagine going somewhere. And sitting here just talking to God. You see that commercial on YouTube. If you're mad, God still wants to hear from you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you heard the commercial on YouTube. But I really would. I really would. I don't care if it's this weekend. If I were you, I'd get in the vehicle. 
I realize you don't have to go nowhere, but it's nice not to hear a, a horn blowing or cars driving by or airplanes going over or people talking, people yelling. Of course, you can do it just like I was doing it a lot of times, driving down the road. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't think God had to make someone something for that to happen. I'm done.